These are amazing. I mean, these are from a book of American landscapes. Um, and these are the images that I totally first, the minute I read that description, this, these are the images that I thought of and went and dug them up. They just feel like this skeleton here, completely being overgrown and the shadow of itself. And then this thing, the way it's collapsed to the water, overgrown vines and everything. The dampness of this and the total decay of this were really um, inspiring for me. In terms of character, I always have to find images of the characters, um, and particularly in this play, the sort of haunted nature of these characters, before I can move forward. And these pictures are amazing to me. So these were hugely inspiring to me, particularly the way this, just the suspension bridge and the sort of insanity of this. This boy I love, and this image, the set almost looked like this for a really long time. I mean, really close to this, just sort of treacherous and open and planked and lifted. But the Walker Evans imagery was spot on, and these images of people in the Depression and what it takes to get through them in a barely clad cap. So a lot of this really lonely imagery and sort of uh, how people may do in that time is really interesting to me. And just that, that, that cabin that's about to be engulfed huge, but we knew that there was only so much of that we could realize. In the end, what we wound up with is a super psychological space, I think, some place that can transform, because the play is such a wild ride. Whenever I got lost, I went back to these pictures, absolutely. I mean, the way that, the way, you just constantly have to have a reference, I constantly have to have a reference for how real things age. For example, this cabin, when you look at this cabin, you know, when you think about somebody making their own cabin and you think, oh, great, so you can put all the planks a little bit crooked, right? No, this is meticulously built, but it's barely standing. <laughs> Greg refers to American Gothic a lot in this. That image is sort of trying to get back to a strange version of American Gothic. There's a gauntness to the people. There's a, there's a, there's a stern determination and a gauntness to these people. Um, in, in those photographs that I find completely compelling and very speaking very clearly to what Greg is writing to in this play. She's completely gripping and there's no adornment in that photograph. Everything is very clean and very efficient and the lines are, there's a wear. I mean, and there's a wear, I mean, look at these planks. There's a wear in these planks and there's a wear in her skin and, they, and, this, and what she's wearing. There's an age, and all they are all sort of one. And this palette, this uniform palette of, you know, it's a black and white photograph, of course, but um, the way that those things are all of a piece, hugely, hugely influential. There's a kind of confrontation in those photographs that's very useful. They are quietly very aggressive. It's an incredible document of such a brutal time, you know.